So, Rolf, let's start with you. What's the scene in the AFC Champions League, especially for Tampere's Rovers? Yeah, first of all, I feel so honoured. Uh. We have Madhu Mohana on the show and we're starting with me. Yeah. There's a reason for that. I'll come to you. I'll come to you. <laughs> <laughs> Madhu, thanks for joining us, man. We, we really appreciate you taking the time over there in, uh, in Tashkent. Let me just set the tone of, of the group in the first place. We basically got you on to just give us a bit of a, a preview of, of uh, what's coming up for Tampere's Rovers in the AFC Champions League. So what I, I want to do is just really sort of set the tone with what you've got in the group. And it's a tough group. Uh, yes, Sydney FC have, have dropped out, have withdrawn, but you've got Gamba Osaka in there, uh, John Book Hyundai in there, and, and the Thai side in Chiang Rai United. Now, Gamba Osaka, they finished second in the J-League uh, last season. Yes, they're not doing so well uh, this time around, but they've had a coaching change. Uh, Masanobu Matsunami has come in to replace Suneyasu Miyamoto, uh, but they still have plenty of quality in their squad. The likes of Usami in there, who does have Bundesliga experience as well. Uh, lots of other Japanese internationals, Josuke Ideguchi uh, in that central midfield, someone to, to keep an eye on. Uh, and then at the back, they are, they're very strong uh, in those central defensive positions. Uh, uh, Gen Shoji, Genta Miura, Kim Yong Gwon, South Korean international. So they still have lots of quality in their squad. I move on very quickly to John Book as well, Madhu. Uh, you look at this team, Elochenko up front for them, Kimbo Kyung uh, in central midfield, Lee Yong from those fullback positions. Uh, another side with a new coach in Kim Chang Sik, as in he, to- he took over the season replacing Jose Moraes. This in the, the hunt uh, for the K League title. Although their form has, has dipped away over the last few weeks or so domestically, but they sh- still should have a very strong squad. And then Chiang Rai United, they had experience in the competition last season, picked up five points there. Um, have the potential to spring a surprise or two. Pity Watt in central midfield, Siwakon, a couple of players to look out for and build up front. Now that I've run through those teams, Madhu, I guess the question really is here. Can you better, and the challenge is being thrown down here, can you better what SAF FC did back in, uh, back in 2010? Let me get my jersey up. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that was a really long time ago. I actually don't remember watching them, watching the games. <laughs> but, Those were uh, age though, but sure, tell us. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think it's a very good experience for us, you know, after, has it been 10 years, I think? Mm, uh, yeah, since 10, 11 played. years, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. So I think it's a great opportunity and, and all the players, we are actually kind of excited to go on a, to play on a bigger level. And as you can see, we have a lot of youngsters in Tepanese. Mm. And it feels like I'm travelling with an under-15 side, you know. <laughs> you see like a bunch. <laughs> really, honestly, like a bunch of them, like I think 10, 10 boys, they are all under-20s. It's going to be a good experience for them and for us seniors, it's it's about um, taking care of them, you know, telling them, uh, um, teaching them how to how to play at a higher level, and we got to take responsibility on that. Um, Madhu, I think uh, Roshan touched on having a really tough group. You obviously have good mm-hmm. experience coming through a tough group. Singapore were drawn in a tough group, and we know how yeah. much you've learned from that. And then Tempest Rovers yep. as well into a tough group. But I just want to ask you about Gavin. He obviously comes into this. Recently married, he must be in a good mood. Has that mood, or recently <laughs> engaged at least, has that translated yeah. to the boys? And when are you getting hitched, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for, for the first part, um, I mean, a uh, big congrats to Gav. Um, as a coach, I think he's been very positive with this. You know, he's been, he's been uh, updating us about the other three teams and how difficult it's going to be. But for us, is we have to look at ourselves. We have to prepare well. And I think he's doing a perfect job with that. Um, and about me getting his, uh, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't think you should worry too much about that, man, Madhu. I don't think you should worry yeah. too much about that. But wait, you, you brought up a good point about, about Gavin and, and Tampanese and your setup. I, domestically in the SPL, you guys, you know, you have a, an attractive style of play. You like mm. to play a possession-based mm-hmm. game. You tend to dominate the, the opposition. Um, are you all going to try and use a similar sort of approach in the Champions League? Because I'm just wondering in terms of the tactical style, in terms of coming up against higher quality teams, are you all thinking of maybe adjusting your approach a little bit or you stay with what you've got and you trust your, your, your work? I don't think we're going to change anything. We are going to try to play football, that's for sure. You know, it, it's going to be tough playing it out, out from the back um, because mm. these teams, they really press well and stuff. But... Like I said, uh, Tampanese, we are going to keep our philosophy. We're going to keep the ball. We're going to try to play our brand of football. And uh, just picking up on Gavin, and you mentioned travelling with such a young squad, right? What is it about Gavin that gets gets to do so well with mm. such a young squad? You know what I mean? They recently extended his contract, which means he's doing something, right? 
They believe in Gavin. Mm-hmm. He plays attractive football. Well, what is it about him? Give us some insight into how he gets the best out of you as well as the younger ones. I think uh, everyone in the team, we are enjoying training. You know, that's important. You know, we go to training. Like for me, every day I go to training, I'm happy. I, I look forward to training. You know, it's, it's never a drag to be there. And I think for the youngsters, Gavin always uh, motivates them. Although, even though they make mistakes and stuff, Gavin is always there to push them. And, and it's more, more to like motivating than scolding. You know, every time they make mistakes, it, coach will be, it's fine, you know. Try again, do, do this again. Keep trying. Especially like for a team like us, when we try to play football on the ground, we don't, mm. we don't just kick the ball, right? And yeah. players, tend, players tend to make mistakes. Not only the youngsters, even senior mm. players, you know. We, we try to do... We try to keep the ball under pressure and we lose it. But Gavin is always saying, hey, try again, keep trying, keep trying. And I think the past two years, we players have actually like changed and we, we learned how to how to play under pressure. And that's hmm. good, you know. Well, what, what are your expectations, Madhu, um, coming into this? Are there any expectations that you've placed on yourself or that the club has of, uh, of the performances of you guys over there? Uh, we know it's going to be tough, but uh, for me, uh, I would say that we, we want to win at least a few games, you know, because um, we, we are not here on a holiday. We are not here mm-hmm. just to participate, you know. We we know our opponents. We we have been preparing for this. And like I said, the senior have to take responsibility and the, and the junior players, they have to come up with their A game, you know, and try to prove to themselves that they can actually play at this level. Speaking of seniors, Rosh, uh, up until recently, the grapevine always told me you were the only Singaporean Indian to play in the Asian <laughs> Champions League. How gutted are you that Madhu is going to become the second one? Hey, and more seriously, you... <laughs> what does the experience do? You need to you need to get a new grapevine or something, man. I don't know where you've been hearing this yeah. kind of nonsense from. I'm not the one showing off the jersey. Yeah, I'm not the one showing off the jersey, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ma- Manu and the, the rest of the team are going to have their own jerseys to show off very soon, man. Look, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted that we've got another Singapore club playing at the, at the top level, the Asian club competition. You know, it's, it's not a matter of, oh yeah, we were the only ones to play back then and then this was the record for the last 10 years or so. It's not. In fact, it's, it's something that I think is it's a bit of a negative on Singapore football that we haven't had teams in the, the top level competition until now. Mm. And it's great to see. So, you know, I, I'm personally... When I was a player, when I was a, when I was a young fan of Singapore football, I, I didn't like Tampines at all. I wasn't a fan. I didn't like going there to Tampines in the stadium. First of all, I don't really like the east side of Singapore. Hey, right? hey that's harsh. I okay? <laughs> grew up in Tampines. Okay, that's harsh. <laughs> but, but now as an adult, as a Singaporean football fan, uh, look, I'm, I'm rooting for, for these guys to, to show Asia, show the world. This is going out to other parts of the world as well, by the way, the, the AFC Champions League. Mm, mm. You know, they've got rights deals in different countries around the world. So, I'm really looking forward to these guys showing what they can do. And, you know, I, personally, I, I don't care about what the results are going to be. I know when, when we played in the competition, yes, as Madhu mm. said, we had our own expectations. We had our own uh, thinking of what we were going to do in, the, in these games. But really, you sort of just try and, and do your best. You perform as well as you can. Follow the coach's instructions. The plans, sometimes, you can have a great game plan coming into this. We're going to mark up here. We're going to be tight there. But because of the level of quality you're going to be up against, Sometimes very quickly in matches, those plans go straight away, straight away out the window. And I think Madhu, with all your your experience at international level, you'll be, you might agree with me on on, on that point. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we will be trying. I'll say now we will be trying to play our brand of football. But but I think you 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 brought up a good point where if the opponent is too tough, do we still try to do it and keep making the same mistakes? Yeah, that we got to think about and. I think with Gavin behind the team, we, we will figure something out. Well, one thing I feel a bit sorry for these guys is, is back then, obviously pre-pandemic, we could travel around and experience different atmospheres and, and travel to different countries and play those away mm-hmm. matches. So I feel a little bit sorry for, mm. for Tampanese in that sense. Mm. Uh, but still, I mean, getting to play in the Champions League, Madhu, is, is going to be an experience that you guys are really going really gonna to relish. What's the, what's the mood been like in Uzbekistan? Have they been treating you well or not? Yeah, I think it's great. You know, uh, even the bus, the bus here has our logo on it, and I think oh, it's nice. great to see. We don't, we don't, we don't get that in Singapore at all. Mm. You know, <laughs> and, mm. and and it's quite good. The hospital, hospitality in the hotel, the food, the staff are nice to us, and yeah, it, it's actually great. You no know, traveling up at club level. I think the the boys are really having having fun. The young boys, right? It's happy for them <laughs> to travel, get off, 
get off school and you know just be with the team mm. and it's been fun lah you know everyone's like we are still uh, able to roam around the hotel freely so it's not so bad you know we're not stuck in the in the room okay so it's okay and yeah we look forward to training every single day speaking of That's being fine. stuck in the room obviously some of your singapore teammates are stuck in a room in quarantine have you heard from them in terms of words of encouragement i mean they've been active on social media i saw gabe yesterday yeah. watching f1 and all that but have they spoken to you and told you you know uh, give you some words of encouragement <laughs> <laughs> i think uh, i don't know because when we go back we we got to serve the 31 days <laughs> and i think it's going to be a drag real mm. drag for us especially mm. uh, by yase and i we, we have been away for a while now since yeah. me and so with the 31 days is going to take a toll but i don't know maybe at a at a good side of it we are off football for a bit you know mm. we get mm. we get our rest but uh national team i think they are in a bubble and they get to train yeah so that's fine if we you can do the same that'll be great you know at least you get out get some fresh air we are not like stuck inside for 21 days straight yeah but i think the players they they are coping well the national team and yeah i've been talking to some of them and yeah they are actually quite excited to be watching our games Uh, Madhu, can I just ask you very quickly? Are there mm-hmm. uh, any teams in particular, or any players in particular, you're you're looking forward to to playing against? Uh, not really, but I heard about the Thai striker. I think the number nine is it Bill or something. Mm, Bill, yeah. Yeah, because we have some players uh, like Zul Zul and Irfan who's playing in the Thai league, and he was mm. telling me about this player. Yeah, strong, strong um, number nine. So yeah, I think it'll be a good challenge, uh, and for myself. Uh, personally i think that it's good to be playing against um, this players of um, good quality so you know we can actually i can actually gauge myself i'm already 30 by the way and mm. and yeah it is good lah for me to actually compete with what, these what, players when you went through your career did you or when you were growing up as a young player did you target an afc champions league appearance at some point down the line was that one of your goals to to try and achieve No, to be honest, it was terrible because I I never knew that you know like a Singapore team could actually play in the mm. Champions League, and mm. I think two years two two years back or what when I heard about it and I was like quite eager you know to to get there and mm. and we got it like last year we we played the AFC and we top we actually topped the group mm. but then it got cancelled mm. yeah you know it was a sad thing for us but this year we got we got this chance and I'm not sure if AFC is going to be cancelled this year mm. but. Yeah, lucky for us, we get we still get to play, no? and Uzbek yeah. was nice enough to host this group. Obviously, last year Tampere Rovers did well in the AFC Cup, so there will be mm-hmm. some positivity going into the AFC Champions League. Uh, but overall, people are wondering why I should watch Singapore football. So, what do you have to say to those people? Why should they tune in to support Tampere Rovers and support Singapore football as a wider thing? I think, uh, like you mentioned earlier, uh, Tampere has own brand of football. You know, we are not a team who kicks the ball and and just hope for the best. We are going to try to play, and I think that's what the uh, fans want to see. You know, fans want to see a team that plays football on the ground, and with a uh, with good pitches here and good good opponent, we we will see lah. You know, the fans can. I mean, if if haters will hate if they want a bad publicity, it's also good publicity. So the more <laughs> the more shit the more shit people talk about us, <laughs> the more the more more people will watch, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it it'll be fun lah to see to see teams that actually play football. You know, two two good teams trying to play. And it'll be a good, good game, you know. I think all all six games is going to be awesome. 